Yes, your eyes aren't seeing things. People actually believe Toy Story 4 is a bad movie because it didn't have enough of a certain group of people based on race or sexual orientation. Now, I really liked Toy Story 4. I thought it was a really good conclusion for the franchise. I grew up on these movies. I think they're great. And thank God the newer movies didn't try to appeal to some certain group who don't even watch the movies in the first place. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. For whatever reason, people just want to watch a movie in order to see their group being represented. And listen, you can watch a movie for whatever reason you want, but unfortunately, these people affect the movie industry because now people are trying to create movies in order to simply show representation of diverse groups. Forced diversity is a plague among movies. I'm not saying diversity is bad, I'm saying forced diversity is a problem. Because of forced diversity, the characters, the plot, the story, and any other important aspect that makes a movie suffers immensely, and that's an issue. Because directors and writers know now that they can just bank off the fact they have a couple of black people in their movie, or a couple of gay people in the movie. Because news media outlets will talk about how there's a lot of diversity in a movie as opposed to the movie actually being good. I mean, no more can you just walk into a movie theater and simply enjoy a movie without some asshole behind you checking off his fucking list and making sure every single group is being represented. The only time this should matter is when we're talking about a historically accurate movie. For example, I don't want to see a white guy in a starring role of a Martin Luther King Jr. movie. That would make no sense. But at the same time, I don't have a problem with fictional characters changing race. As long as they can fit the role well. I mean, I'd like to see Idris Elba as James Bond. I think he could be a really good James Bond. It doesn't matter he's black. He's charismatic, he's charming and handsome, he fits the role well. But for actors like Zach Barack, it's not about his acting, his character, or even his personality. No, his label is first trans actor in an MCU movie. Who cares? Shouldn't we focus on who we are and not what we are? Because when we don't, we get stupid shit like this. The report stated that Rashida Jones left Toy Story 4 because of an unwanted advance by Lassiter. But Jones has denied this in a statement, saying the real reason she left was because of a lack of diversity at Pixar. All right, let's watch the stupid clip and get this over with. Really? It's, it's, it's a cartoon for children. Oh my god. Those are my thoughts summed up in four seconds. Do I even need to be here? Because it seems other people realize how stupid this is. What are they getting wrong here? What do you think is the missed opportunity? All State right. the case. Let me first of all start by saying I think it's diabolically ignorant of any parent or adult mm. to miss the essence of the backlash that Toy Story is facing. The essence being that children deserve to have a representative teachable moment of their lived experience a representative teachable moment the f does that mean listen if you need someone to represent you based on skin color alone chances are you're a pretty boring person i was able to connect with characters who weren't my gender or race when i was a kid hell even age didn't become a factor i didn't have to watch a movie with just kid characters and only connect with the kid characters as long as the character was well written entertaining likable or relatable I could get behind it. Now, a character having a certain race, gender, or age could help enhance relatability, but it shouldn't be the main focus or the main reason for you to connect with a character. Because when that happens, you only relate to token characters. Look, we know toys don't talk. We know they do not fly and they show as heck don't jump out of buses, right? But entertainment must always have a moralistic or a moral intrinsic value. Animation of fictional characters take on human characteristics for, for a reason. To tell a moral story of good overcoming evil, of overcoming, you know, against the odds. You're right. That is what it's about. Unless good versus evil involves sexism or racism, then fine, whatever, but... That's not what the Toy Story movies are about. So there's no reason to include this type of dilemma. I think people have missed the point of Toy Story, right? It's a, it's a story about toys. It's, I think if you think the story is about Andy and Bonnie, then you've missed the point of Toy Story. Mm -hmm. It's a story about toys. It's about Mr. Potato Head. It's about Buzz Lightyear. Yet another intelligent person in the room. It's about Forky. It's about a single-use plastic fork trying to get back to the trash. If we're talking about a teachable moment, the teachable moment should be about sustainability. Mm -hmm. when, when we watched it, my daughter picked up on, hold on, why is Forky trying to get back to the trash? Shouldn't he be trying to get back to the 
the recycling. See, this lady gets it. It's about finding and understanding these morals of the movie. It's not about checking off some fucking list and making sure you're being represented. Goodness sake, we live in a society that today teaches sex education and LGBT to our kids. Why aren't you all screaming, oh, they're just children? Because they're teaching something important as opposed to worrying about whether or not a certain group is being represented. Like, these are two different things. The reason they do this mm -hmm. is because it is the right thing to do. Why? Because we need to start a much more progressive and transformative mm. society. Why in God's name would you expect less from cartoon characters, which are what? meant <laughs> to imbibe human yeah. characteristics? I mean, that's obvious, but when we think about it, it's more about the personality. At least that's what I think when I think about characteristic. Now, characteristic can include race and gender, but no one is looking at these toys and being like, hmm, why isn't this one black? Why isn't this one a woman? Why isn't there a pink fucking dildo in this movie? If they ever make a Toy Story 5, I swear the next character that'll be introduced will be a bloody tampon in order to represent period shaming. For a reason. One of the, I one love of the Toy Story, right? Yeah. I think it's all lovely and pushy. But you know what? Even my children, I've got a 13 year old, yeah. 9 year old, and 7 year old, they expect more. When they watch things, they actually challenge the decisions made by characters. I'm saying, look, Pixar, this, you can do better. But you just admitted that your children, who I'm gonna have to assume are black, were able to immerse themselves into the movie to the point that they're challenging the characters' messages or their motives or what they're doing. Seems to me it has nothing to do with race. The fact that a 10-year-old kid could figure this out and you couldn't is pretty sad. Disney Pixar are doing better. They okay. have Princess They okay. can do better they some more. We did, we did, we did, we did, we did, we did, we did contact uh, Disney Pixar about this. Uh, we yet to see a reply, unfortunately. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe it's because Disney knows that the claim that Toy Story 4 lacks diversity is f***ing stupid or something. And they believe that this is all just a big waste of time over such an idiotic statement. Is Little Bo Peep a feminist icon or is she unfortunately a product of an essentially sexist society? She's a toy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I just say, <laughs> let, let me help you out with that. Is she a feminist icon? If we understand that feminism is about women's rights and women being able to make whatever choices they want yeah. without anybody judging them, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, every woman then is a feminist. We should be able to make whatever choices without you judging. Well, I judge people all the time, including women. In fact, I'm judging you right now, a woman, and I'm not gonna stop.